Good morning and welcome, welcome to the Hex Quarters this fine morning. Um, I'm a moron. Point proven. Uh, I forgot my laptop. I was editing uh, my vlog yesterday and the one that you guys saw yesterday. I was editing that vlog and then as I started to render, it's already like 5.30 and I like to get out of here by like 5.30 so I can go hang out with Liv and Jude and do my you know nightly routine uh, as I wind down from the day. And unfortunately, my dumb butt forgot it this morning. Um, there's another project going on in my house and I wanted to get out of there before the carpenters or uh, whoever, Jude, uh, whatever. Anyway. Uh, I have to go back home, unfortunately, which kind of sucks because I was about to order breakfast. I was gonna have breakfast here, and then in close to uh, in close to two hours, everybody was gonna show up because today, today's content day, my favorite day of the week. And you might be wondering, like, why? Why is content day so special? Why is it your favorite day of the week? You've done content for the last 11 years on YouTube. You hung out with your friends every single day for the last seven years. Why is it so fun? Well. In this day and age, and the way that things are currently going, like you can't see your friends every day. And that, to me, gives it a more meaningful get together. We get to have fun creating content, and we also get to hang out with each other. That's a win. And if you focus on the W's every single day, little by little, you end up going to bed, you end up uh, going through your day with a whole bunch of wins. Win, 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 win. Who doesn't want to live that way? And if you put little W's next to little things that you're doing throughout the day, you walk away at the end of the night feeling like a winner. Instead of focusing on the negative, the traffic, the bullshit, the, the, all the L's that you take on a daily basis, scrap all those. Positive mentality. Don't get all this money. You know how easy it would have been for me to make a big deal out of forgetting my cat, my laptop back at home and taking an L this early in the morning? It's like nine o'clock. Well, 9.40ish, about to be 10. Either way, do you think that, I'm not focusing on that. I'm just gonna go get it, not make a big deal out of it. It's only like 15 minutes away. Hopefully by the time I get back, my breakfast from first watch is here. That's a W. First watch has now been delivered. Look at the, mm, look, and then look, 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 I'm probably not gonna eat that. Why didn't they put it, why they gave me two? That sucks. And then, of course, the candied bacon. I figured that on days like these, when we're gonna be sitting around all day and the next time that we might see a meal might be four o'clock, might as well get it in as soon as possible so you can have the energy to be as Productive, as energetic as possible, I guess is the word. I wish I would have bought coffee, gosh darn it. You know that L that I was just talking about? You know that spiel that I just gave about taking L's and focusing on the positives and that I was just talking about where you focus on little W's throughout the day and then you go to sleep a, a winner because of the amount of L's that you accumulated over the day. Like little stickers, little proud kindergarten stickers that the teacher gives you when you learn how to color inside the lines and there's nothing there. Remember how I said, yo, you know what you should do? You should do, you should really focus on the W. It'd be really easy for me to focus on the fact that I forgot my laptop, but why, why would I focus on that? Why, why, why? This is what I have right now. Okay, this L, it's an L. I, I, I'm, 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 for the rest of the day, I'm gonna be wearing an L. I'm gonna tell you why. Josefo. Josefo, what, um, what's today's date? Day, what's today? Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday. When is content day? Which is? Wednesday. No bullshit, I thought today was Wednesday. I always make it a point to never do anything meme right? I always make it a point to never put myself in a situation. I learned this very early on, right? Very early on, I put myself in a, situ in a situation where 
uh, if I'm at an event, I don't talk about winning. I don't talk about my, my hopes of winning. I don't talk about any of that stuff ever. Okay, because I know there's somebody out there, one of you little pricks out there, is going to grab that one clip and send it to me when we lose the game. That's why I never talk about that. I never ever jinx myself. I never ever do that. In private, yeah. Sometimes I even cut the shit, right? I would never ever 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 put an L on my chest because that will forever and always be a meme, right? Like that will be a meme. Now, what's gonna happen, and I'm very aware of this. I'm very, very aware of this. Now, every single time I take an L, someone's gonna come back to this fucking video, clip that one thing of me putting an L on me and then send it to me. That's the, that's the thing that I've learned, right? Which is why I never, ever, ever put myself in situations like that. Like right now, even if, as I'm talking into this camera, I'm considering not putting it into the vlog. We're sort of lost now because my vlog today was going to center around content day. I was gonna have Pristini walking through that door, Alec Dillon, Sender General, Scumper Jumper, Formal's gonna be holding the camera, but now there isn't. So what is there left to do but go back and fix the mini hex quarters? Uh, I've, been, I've been putting off working on the mini hex quarters for a very long time due to the fact that I'm a lazy piece of shit. And I, when I say that, I just mean that, you know, instead of watching Watchmen, which is what I'm watching uh, right now, uh, every day before I go to bed, I could just take that extra hour of me watching that show and move the magazines, the graffiti magazines, into the closet that they belong to. But I don't do that, do I? No, no, I don't. I, I decided to watch Watchmen, by the way, incredible show, fucking amazing. Good writing, good cinematography, everything that you would like to see in a, in a show is there. So, to the mini hex quarters, we go. I'm just kidding. In fact, I'm kidding so much that it's now um, the day, almost 24 hours after I said that I was gonna go to mini hex quarters. What ended up happening is that I got home and then Judith said, or I call, Seth calls me, he's like, are you taking me anywhere for my birthday? And I said, no. Jude was sitting right next to me and she said, yes. And I said, what do you wanna do? So he said, I wanna go to the Cowboy Club. Cowboy Club is a private club owned by Jerry Jones. It's very, very cool. Um, but nobody wants to get dressed up because it's business casual. So we said, let's just go to Capitol Grill. We ended up going to Capitol Grill. You guys may have seen a couple of clips on that on Twitter. Um, and now we are back where we're supposed to be, which is here today. As I started this video, it's content day. Content King, Mr. R Cities has just arrived. And so we, we ultimately what ended up happening is that. So I had to go get a haircut. So I went to go get a haircut. Uh, an emergency haircut, nothing was open, nobody was available, so I just went to the nearest barber that's on there. The, look, the good thing about my hair is that it grows back super, super quick and it's not an issue. Uh, I also had some cosmetic surgery. You guys can't tell, obviously, but... But I removed a skin tag from here, and it just happened here, here, on my neck, you actually see them, and also under my eye. You guys didn't notice them, but I did. My chain kept on getting cut up in that little, little wart. I hope today's going fine for you guys. Let's get the day started. Yo, is your brother coming? Preston? Yeah. I don't know why I said Preston like that. No, he's not. He's not coming? No. Nah. Matt! I texted twice, never replied to me. He didn't reply? No. Dude, you vouched for your brother, dude. You said, no, he'll be there. I didn't say anything about media. Huh? <laughs> Preston's not get, Preston's not responding to a text. Dude, you vouch for him. I didn't vouch for him. You for owe me two hundred and fifty dollars for every he for every industry. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Well, I don't care who pays me the two fifty, dude. Okay. <laughs> All right, pay the two fifty. <laughs> what? I don't know. That's Preston. <laughs> not me. I can't believe it. You know what? Some people want it. Some people kinda want it. I think Preston falls on the kinda. My man Alec, he's about his money game. Every day. How are you doing? How are you doing? It's all ogre. That's how I'm doing. It's all ogre? It's all ogre now. It's all greatest of all time? Ogre. Ogre 1 or Ogre 2? Ogre 1 was nasty, but you know, Ogre 2 has more chips, so. so either one. Either one. They're, they're both nasty. 
Uh, so Big Timer has joined us. So has Jordan General, and now they're about to shoot an episode of uh, Kill Race, but they put themselves at a handicap, and this video is going to be super dope. Again, it's on the Huntsman channel. Um, I love that outro. Brock Berrigan, you are a talented dude. Thank you so much for the... Uh... Anyway, um, got something in the mail. It says uh, Hex and Scump. Scump Hex. Did you get one? Envoy, Envoy. General, General, there you go. Sender, Sender. So it was Seth's birthday yesterday. I got him a present. Jordan got him a present. Um, mine's not as cool as Jordan. Jordan got him the boy and shit. It was pretty cool. The child. I got him Huntsman colored ones. Boom. The fire. You're not taking Happy it. Birth okay. So you're telling me as the owner of the Chicago Huntsman, yeah. one of your players is in desperate need of a PS4 Pro. I ain't spending my own cash on that shit. Come here. Come with me. This motherfucker has got a PS4 Pro monitor rest. And he says I can't have one. I have a PS4 with cat hair in it. Pinching pennies. Dude, this was bought by Hex Quarters, not Huntsman. Therefore, it can't go to you. You can use it to create content, but you can't take it. I'm not gonna keep it. Why? Okay, here's my logic behind this though. The PS5 Give comes out- Give me $200 for it. Nah. The PS, I'm not, ta I'm lend I'm borrowing. The PS5 comes out in what? Let's call it four months. I'm borrowing a PS4 from you for four months that is being used as a pencil weight, essentially. What if, what if you never give it back? Paperweight. I don't know where you live. How would I get it back? Actually, I did get you a, a, a present. What are you, a loan shark? Yes. You got me a present? Yeah, I did. For your birthday. Where is it? What's up? Who was this, some fire? Yeah. I, I, they didn't have my size, otherwise I would have bought my, me some too. Really? Yeah. Am I gonna like these? You fucking better, it's a gift. What do you mean, now I have to act? What? What if they're not cool? Nice, they're nice, man. Thank you so much. Yo, would you lace them with the red though? Mm. Are you supposed to? Would you lace them with the red? I don't know. <laughs> That's a tough call. Would you no, lace no, it with no. these? I would not. No. Uh, Yo, thank you, bro. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a good thing, these aren't white shoes, so my dirty ass won't ruin them in the first like. They'll couple. last you forever. That's He's... what I'm saying. Unless, and with crap prote protect, <laughs> I can. <laughs> I can shine Sorry. erase any scuffs. Uh, scuffs? Scuff gaming. <laughs> what? This, oh my god, I brought this one for the fucking land and never took it back. This is mine. That was still mine that though. Is mine. That was still mine. That is mine. Seth, that was, that was mine. still mine. That was still mine from the first time you took it. I have to start getting fucking tied up in here. Troy, what are you doing? Show well, them. Show them. Say so. Okay, if it has a number in the back, if it has a number in the back, it's mine. There's numbers pasted on it. What is it? That's my. That's the sixth one that I bought. So that means that you took one nah. to your house. Nah, <laughs> you just reclaimed it because you didn't realize it was mine. It's not yours. Yeah, it is. No, listen, it's not. Listen, listen. Seth needs the PS4 Pro. He needs it. Let him have it. <laughs> I'm going to let you have it if you keep on taking his side. Okay, just to be clear, that is mine from the headquarters. We put your name on it because we know the stations and which accounts were on which one, scump. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much. Seth, that is mine. You owe me $400. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to leave without leaving a like. I haven't said that. Boys, girls. And with that said, Embos owes me $250. Big Timer owes me $250. This That's 500. That's a quick 500. I don't give a fuck. It's worse. 
because I get to be here at 60.50. I didn't have to be there. Anyway, having said that, and with that said, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow as usual. As usual, let's see. Damn.